Hi there, welcome back to another episode. Tonight you join me at the later time. You can see I have waited about an hour or so and markets are now closed. But yes, we're going to be talking about AMC Entertainment and what that share price has been doing throughout the day. Now a lot of people here are probably going to say this day was terrible because the price moved by 0.004, so obviously about 4 cent, and this equated to a gain of only 0.7%. But to me, it is a win. Now, I'm going to be giving all of my opinions as usual uh, towards the end of the video. You guys do know the score by now. But before we do enter and I give all the usual disclaimers, one thing which I do need to ask, do you guys enjoy the videos perhaps a bit earlier, maybe about half past 2 p.m. when I usually do them, or would you rather have them about 4 o'clock right now, perhaps even into 5 o'clock, where we can see what the market did in the last hour? Because sometimes that last hour is the most crucial, but I just wonder what you guys' thoughts are. So please do tell me down below. I'm happy to do either or maybe even both going forward. But yes, that's what we are seeing today with AMC. Anyway, here come all the usual disclaimers, as you guys will know. Obviously, this is not financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. You already know that, but I'm just going to say it for my safety and for yours as well. So just remember that. Do your own research before investing in this stock, because AMC is quite a risky stock at the moment. Again, if you may enjoy the video, if you may enjoy the channel, do subscribe because we talk about AMC all the time. But now, we are going to jump in and obviously have a look at AMC Entertainment over the past day and realistically the whole scenario that we have been seeing around a lot of meme stocks today actually. So first things first, like I have said just a few moments ago, AMC is down from about 10.13 onwards, so we, so we hit highs up there. Uh, these were around the level of 59.97, and actually even up here we broke past 60 for a very, very small amount of time before the price was brought all the way back down to this point here of 55, if not even 53, slightly lower. So let's just take it, you know, a moment to acknowledge how much of a big drop that was. It dropped by $7 in literally like half an hour. So of course it was quite a big move, but still the majority of people did not sell. Now I've spoken about this before and I will continue to speak about it. It is my personal belief, uh, looking at what we have seen, and again it's not a fact, it's just my personal thought. It could be the case that, you know, with the whole scenario that we have seen with shorts, perhaps the shorts are trying to scare people out of their positions. Whether it's through stop losses or whether it's through drops in price of $7 in like, you know, half an hour. That is definitely going to get some people scared, but obviously the majority of us have been here for a long time. I have not been here since January, but a lot of people have. Have. I've been here for a few weeks if not months now and I already know the score guys this thing moves up it moves down and until we get the squeeze there's nothing really to be excited about because up until then in my eyes at least for my position nothing really matters and that's just the way that I see it so for me a drop of like seven dollars throughout the day yes it hurt yes it was a bit of a surprise but i can only speak for myself and i'm going to do so i bought amc shares at like ten dollars a piece obviously i've been averaging up so my average is about fourteen dollars and again ever since then you can imagine fourteen dollar average my uh position is still in the green by a large amount. I'm up by like £20,000 and that for me is pretty decent. So I'm not too scared about AMC dropping by this amount, uh, you know, in a day, especially with what we have seen over the past month. We've seen this big growth and to be honest, if we look at where this one has moved since, let's just say mid-May, if not late May, we could draw a line all the way through it. So yes, we've seen a bit of a slowdown in momentum now, but when we look at what we have seen with a whole scenario, I don't believe it matters too much for reasons which I'll get onto in just a moment uh, in a bit more detail. But yeah, we are seeing a bit of growth today. It's a very small amount, but it is still some growth. I think at this point, that does need to be shown as a big deal. So it was the case, apparently, uh, the shorts wanted to keep us below the $60 range. And you know what? They have succeeded. But one thing that they haven't succeeded at is A crushing our spirits because we are still optimistic and b another area where they have not succeeded is the fact that they were not able to bring this one red they came very close they tried their hardest but the stock but the stock price did end up green so a massive win for us even if it only feels like a tiny one i think it should be respected so again apes i've said this before we should not be underestimated this is kind of changing the whole game, we already know this, but yeah, big moves today with AMC, and I'm happy to see this one in the green if it is only by a small amount. Going over here to the more detailed charts, we can see a similar story. Volume today is 211 million, which is interesting as well because we're seeing pretty decent volume and a movement in price of not very much. So some people may call this, you know, uh, unusual price action or unnatural price action. That's just something to think about. Again, I'm not here to say whether it is or isn't, but I do find that interesting. Interesting. 
So let's go and have a look on Ortex and what they have posted on Twitter to date. So basically, Ortex on Twitter have written down here about uh, Clover, but going back a little bit further, we can see that they posted about AMC. Now, this post was from yesterday, the 7th of June, but I do still think this is kind of relevant to where we are right now. Because the short interest on that date, literally yesterday, was down by 14.8%. And this is going to get some people scared, and I can see why. But let's just look at the numbers, okay? We see shares returned of 19.67 million, shares borrowed of 3.27 million. Now, there is a lot of, you know, piece of uh, DD and information on Reddit speaking about this whole situation. But, you know, this is not really a large percentage of shares when we look out to the wider picture. And again, if synthetic shares are there, if that is something that is going on, it could be much bigger than even that. So, you know, we are not seeing a large amount of shares being returned. So I think that is something to look at and see as important. Now, this is something which I'm going to get onto in a very quick uh, separate video, but this is coming from Reddit. Now, the Reddit post is also coming from Twitter, but it is still quite interesting. Now, again, this is not guaranteed to be fact. It is all alleged, and I definitely must add that, but I'm going to speak about this in a bit more detail. This speaks about a certain company, but I'm not going to get into the company you know, in any detail, but it speaks about certain entities, perhaps, you know, appearing to short the stock and actually appearing to cover afterwards. So basically it's fake covering. We'll speak about this in a little bit in another video, but the whole intention is to bring the short interest down. Now, again, this is all alleged, but they will apparently use synthetic long shares. And basically by bringing the short interest down, the intention is to make us apes feel like it's a case that obviously, you know, the shorts are covering and the squeeze has happened by this big run up to a point up here of, you know, $60 perhaps, or at least the highs that we saw earlier uh, in the past week or so. I'm going to speak about this, like I said, but I do not think this is a big deal. We spoke about this many a time before. I'm just going to, you know, re-mention it quickly here. We all expected this to happen. They were probably going to let this one run up a little bit and then sell it off like what we are seeing right now. And obviously, you know, pretend to cover afterwards to make us basically think that a squeeze has happened. But I personally believe that a squeeze is nowhere near happened. I think there's a lot of time to go. I'm not saying whether it will happen right now or not, because it is possible they could happen tomorrow. It could happen in after hours today, or it could happen in two months. We all know this could happen at any time, and it's not guaranteed to be any time soon. But for me, at least, I hold AMC shares, and I've seen gains of like £20,000, as I mentioned earlier, in but a few days. And for that reason, guys, I think AMC, £20,000, is a nice amount to have, don't get me wrong but this is just the beginning. Obviously, a run-up to, tw to uh, £55, or $55 rather, has given me those kind of returns. I'm sure you guys can relate. Can you just imagine what would happen if we hit 100, 1,000, 10,000, or maybe even higher than that? Now, again, we don't know how high AMC is going to go, but I think this is going to be an interesting play. And again, this is not financial advice. It's just my thoughts and opinions, but I do find it interesting what we are seeing with AMC. Hopefully, this can continue in tomorrow, and we can have another green day. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.